Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday. And you know what that means? Well, now it means Dark Souls. That's what it means. So, last we left off, I had promised some backtracking, but uh, I changed my mind. Instead of backtracking, let's, um... Well, let's try and get through this first boss a thingy. Actually, I wanted to check. Um, I think I upgraded my weapons as best I could last time uh, for the uh, Astora Straight Sword and the Claymore. But I want to make sure that uh, Andre. Well, if there's nothing else he can reinforce when it comes to them too. No, no, I need two Titanite shards for the Claymore and two Twinkling Titanites uh, for the Straight Sword of Astora. However, if I was to buy one of these and then reinforce the Claymore, yes. <laughs> it's still not as good as this sword. Yes, no one wants to see us go hollow. Except we don't look terribly human right now. Mm, no. We'll see if we can do something about that. Well, assuming there's anyone uh, looking for summons to help them kill the gargoyles. That might be interesting. Yes. So, scale has happened. Uh, Jordan got to interact with a bunch of you um, out in California. How um, how was it, those of you who were there? Joel have a jolly old time. <laughs> and if not, what could have made it more jolly? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of you were... Um, very distraught that uh, Jordan couldn't pick you up like he did the Looters Project. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, we do have that big guy we need to uh, take care of, so... Hello, big guy. Come out here and uh, come dance with me. Yes. Ah. Too late on the roll. Okay, no backstabby. <laughs> Still no backstabby. <laughs> I fell for that one. Ow. I mean, at this rate, I can't kill the boss. <laughs> if I can't even kill this guy. Hello, Jill. Ooh, another Titanite shard. Fun times. Well, we might get a plus four claymore out of this yet. Okay, so that dude up there is a dick. But before we go and talk to him, yes, talk. I'm gonna take the firekeeper's soul from this corpse. I thought he was supposed to react to that, but eh. I guess not. I may be misremembering. And this asshole on the stairs was uh, just waiting for me. Oh, the mage person is awake. He's now uh, casting spells our way. And doing a bit of a dance. <sighs> yes, let's not stand near a window while he's around. Run away! Run away! Because there are only hollows, but uh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Seems like it's just corpses now. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Hello, Katana. He's not very strong. 
No, no, he's not. <laughs> he deals a lot of damage and he buffs uh, the hollows, so he can be a bit of a pain like this. And uh, this is the corpse we couldn't see last time that when we uh, went across there, you were supposed to be able to see the corpse with the item. So that you would know. It's like, oh, I can go there. Yes. But, <clears throat> we see another boulder knight with an S stock being a butt. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna kill him. And die he shall. And, uh, yes. <laughs> the rag dolls, uh, the moment you kill an enemy, they immediately lose all weight to their body. So you can just push the rag dolls up and down wherever you go. And uh, this barrel was holding a corpse with a huge manatee. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. We have a person. Oh, still human, are you? How'd you figure? I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Of course you are. Fine, I'll help you. I used a mystery key. Well, that wasn't very mysterious at all. Did you have to pause like that? Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a likely story. I am free. Now I can get back to work. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you know, it's not a Dark Souls NPC unless they uh, end their dialogue with that stupid, stupid laughter. Anywho, we, f we freed um, Knight Lotrek of Kareem. We shall tangle with him later. Foreshadowing. Um, right. So, since we're here, I'm only down to two Estes, but, um, part of, well, all of that was my fault because I was, uh, being a dummy when I fought the uh, big knight guy with the mace. So I'm gonna try and, um, well, see if anyone wants to summon me to help them in their fight. So we're gonna get rid of that and put the white side soapstone and we're gonna use it. Right there. Go ahead and pl please summon my sorry ass. <laughs> Actually, this is Dark Souls 1. Don't I need to be human for people to be able to see my- No. I need to be human to be able to see summoning signs, but I don't need to be human to be able to s be summoned. In any case, I'm gonna go, um, have a look around. Probably that summon sign is going to disappear very quickly, because as soon as I get on the elevator, it's an area transition, so it goes, yeah, no, sorry about that. <laughs> right, you too. Or that one, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I killed your friend upstairs, you're nothing special. How about you? Can I get a backstab on you? Yes, I can! How about that? <laughs> oh, look at them dodging. That's my shtick. I'm not very good at it, but it's my thing. <laughs> Just burning time. See if anyone uh, hits the uh, summoning sign and gathering some souls. Doesn't look like there's anyone asking for my help. 
Which makes sense, because when you actually get down to it, you see it's like, Oh, um, why would I summon random person, uh, when I can summon Solaire and Lotrec? Yep, as soon as I went into the elevator, my summoning sign disappeared. Also, that's a janky-ass window. <laughs> I don't know what they did to it, but that wasn't good. Alright, so this elevator, I'm moving up to the edge, so I can roll off once we get to... Of this bit here. Whip! <laughs> yes, Firelink Shrine. And now, ideally, I should be able to just roll off and land on that platform there. Whip! Oh, yes. No need for jumpy jumpy. And there's the crow. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, before we go and ask the crow for, uh,. A trip back to where we came from I'm gonna go and get that item which is very important once you do decide to go back there right I didn't die I call that a win <laughs> anywho I do kind of want to be here uh, so I can go talk to uh, Petros of Thorland, or whatever his name is. Peter of Thorland? Something like that. <laughs> because he sells the healing spell! And I want it. Oh, hello. I will teach you miracles. A promise is a promise, after all. Of course it is. So, purchase item. Heal! Yes. See, heal is very good, especially at low levels, because... Most of the uh, bonfires only give you five um, Estus flasks. Except for this one. This particular bonfire has been kindled and it has a... Um, it has a firekeeper. That, uh, that one that doesn't speak downstairs. And speaking of firekeepers, I think she has a visitor. Oh, look! <laughs> There he is. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please accept it. He gave me a sunlight medal. I am grateful to you. Misdirection. <laughs> and there's the not stupid giggle. You. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> now, um. A lot of people who play this game better than I would kill Lautrec right here, right now, before he even gets a chance to um, do what he's planning to do with uh, the Firekeeper. But, since we're kind of following the game sight unseen, or about as much as sight unseen as possible considering I've already finished the game... By the law. <laughs> but there are methods. Most fools have more humanity than they know what to do with. Who do you imagine will make the best use of it? I don't know. <laughs> you again? Oh, what is it? Murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Yes, foreshadowing. More foreshadowing. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was that the rolling ghost was doing? Uh, the rolling ghosts or the sort of uh, spectral entities that you see crossing around are um, other players. It's not really in sync. Uh, your worlds and theirs are, they're not really in sync, but you can uh, sort of kind of see something that they did. And uh, you see the, uh, the blood pools, there isn't a blood pool here right now, but when you see blood pools, you can absolutely um, see how that person died. Okay, so we have done the thing. Can I kindle? Cannot kindle without the secret. Right, yeah, okay. So, ten Estus flasks is plenty. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the blood stain. How did this person die? This person went right there, went right there. Oh, he jumped into the well. <sighs> when will these people learn? Try jumping. Yes. No, <laughs> don't try jumping. <laughs> <laughs> you die if you jump into the well. <laughs> uh, 
Imminent fatty. Yes. He is kind of portly, isn't he? Anywho. Alright, so we have ourselves huge manatees. We're human right now. And, um, 10 Estus flasks. So let's just go and summon Solaire and Latrec so they can help us defeat the proper first boss. Well, I say that. A lot of people would argue that it's not, but considering how difficult a fight it can be, it's... it... it I said counts. The, the, this is a the first boss fight. Not that the other... Um, well, the last one wasn't terribly... Um, Easy for me, either, but... Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, let's put this heal to the test. Very good. And we get to save our Estus. Because Estus is bestus. Right. Let's, uh... Pull them again. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. That's fine. I can heal without it costing me Estus. That's all good. And we're going to do that right now. Mostly because I have a feeling I won't get a chance to... Oh. The Revenant has invaded. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> he got a backstab on me. <laughs> oh god damn it again <laughs> ah. <laughs> human players and the asshole decided to heal he wasn't even fair about it dick <laughs> I hate humans <laughs> Uh, I literally just started the freaking game, and there he is, ganking new people. Asshole. <laughs> Anywho. I'm gonna do this again. Because I do kinda need to be human to summon people. And reverse hollowing, yes. We'll get our huge manatees back once I get to my... Uh... My blood stain? <laughs> I guess that's a very um blood borny term. Yeah, no. I almost got him too. If I had landed the um the attack when I dropped down the thing, that would have been awesome. But I didn't. So now I'm gonna try and see if I can make a bit better time getting to Solaire so that the asshole can't gank me. <laughs> okay, just get my souls. There they are. Can't forget about these guys. Because the way that these are positioned here, it is basically a bottleneck and you can't go much faster than this. So you're always going to be stuck here. And it gives uh, the um, timeout well, it gives the clock a significant timeout to, um, basically, 
allow other people to invade your world. So I'm going to summon Solaire right now. And now I'm gonna go down here and summon Lautrec. There he is. That's a good kind of summon. And this one, well, this one we just summon him this once because that's the only chance we have of summoning him. There he is! Solaire! We have engaged in jolly cooperation. So, Solaire, you're in the way. Come on. Thank you. Yes, you can't uh, traverse ghosts or phantoms. <laughs> okay. Knight Solaire and Knight Lotrek. And I heal. And we have our souls back. Let's do it. Wait for them too. There we go. All right. Let's look at where they're coming from. <laughs> yep, we're fighting the gargoyle. <laughs> And I want to kill it before the other one has a chance to come here. <laughs> Very good. Now comes the second one. <laughs> Oh yes, I forgot. I buffed my sword like crazy. <laughs> cool! We survived. <laughs> that was barely even a fight. And uh, Lautrec and Solaire are now gone because they fulfilled their duty. They helped me. So now they get to go home. And we have the Gargoyle Helm. Yes. Look at it. So fancy. That's the helmet that the other idiot that just killed me was using the ganker anywho now we're here and you can hear the bell sounds a lot closer like a lot closer and this is well this is the bell tower so let's go ring it let's do our part in it and um, actually annoy people uh, it, while playing their games just by making the bell sound. <laughs> and I'm always very careful of this ladder because I once dodged and fell. And I died. Unnecessarily. So, yeah, there's that. Praise the sun. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Pull the lever. And thus, the first bell of awakening is rung. Hey, we got an achievement for that. How about that? Okay. Well, you might be thinking, well, that's half of the start of the game. That's barely even a third of it. Uh, so, now, do not fall, please. Thank you. You think Half-Life letters are dangerous? Where did you come from? <laughs> Dark Souls letters. Yeah, I think they learn from the best. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. The past. Well, I was a warm welcome. Warm But your sins. For indeed, all sins. Olsen is his domain. 
Right. So, uh, we did join the Way of White Covenant, but uh, we don't want to be in the Way of White Covenant. And abandoning a Covenant without doing so through him um, is a sin. And if you're sinful, like, say, if you invade someone else's world and successfully kill them, you may be invaded by the um, Blades of... Um, Blades of the Dark Moon? I'm probably butchering the name of the other Covenant. But yeah, it's basically the PvP covenants. Um, they kind of roll like that. But since I don't want to be a part of this current covenant, the Way of Light, I will abandon it. And I have. Right, so let's learn the gesture. Click well. What is it? Yes, it's what he's doing right now. That one. <laughs> and let's see. Request absolution. You have not sinned. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> and from him, we can buy a purging stone for 3,000, but we're not cursed, so... No need. Uh, indictment. Report trespass of invader. We did get invaded last time, and if we use the indictment afterwards, um, well, the invader gets flagged for the blades of the Dark Moon, and um, the Book of the Guilty, of course, is a list, a ledger, of everyone who's got, who's been indicted. Wait, no, what? Show me what it does first. It requires 16 faith. Uh-huh. Medium for casting miracles of the gods. This black tuft of hair that serves as a talisman belongs to Velka, the goddess of sin. It casts miracles not by drawing upon faith, but intelligence. Oh, that's not faith, that's intelligence. Right. And we can get bleeding resistance, poison resistance, and a ring of sacrifice. But we're getting none of them. Leave. You're not welcome anytime. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> that, that was a hearty laughter. Greetings. I am pleased to see you wish to be preserving your humanity. You're not welcome anytime. <laughs> and yes, you can totally kill him and take his armor. But I'm not going to. <laughs> because that too is a sin. <laughs> and uh, as we've just established, I'm not very good at the PvPs. So... Yeah. <laughs> I will improve in time. Mostly, I intend to improve my weapon to the point that if someone does try to gank me, I can gank them right back. But, yes. Right now, we have rung the first bell of awakening. And we heard from, um, the... What's his name? Uh, I can't remember. The dude that's in Fire League Shrine that is the f like the first NPC you see when you get here. Um, crestfallen Warrior is Crestfallen something. But... Yes. He told us that there were two Bells of Awakening. So, uh, the first one was up there, where we just rang it. And the second one is down below. In Blight Town. So we gotta get to Blight Town. <laughs> and this is the point where things get interesting. Oh, Hello. <laughs> My companions, oh my lady, she is young. young. Yes. We are her defense. Okay. He is not being uh, any more forthcoming than he was. So. Uh, the Great Heel excerpt only needs 18 faith. But only gives me the one use. So, there. Yeah. A thorough and talisman. Magic adjustment 165. 118, 165. Yeah, no, his talisman is pretty good. 
It requires four strength. No faith requirement at all, which is odd. What does it say? Um, this talisman is only granted to high-ranking Thoralan clerics. Has high miracle adjustment, which, thinks a divine protection, is not dependent upon faith. There it is. <laughs> okay. So, 168. Let me check how much mine does. Why did I do that? Uh, show me. 118. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're getting... We're buying that talisman because it's better. And it makes our heals better. So, purchase the Thorolan talisman. That was 5,000 souls. The effect. He's a butt. <laughs> Anywho. It is a better um, thing, so we shall use it. Oh, there's a player. Oh. Oh, look! It's the asshole that ganged me. <laughs> uh, yes, let's go to low level areas and gank people. Asshole. Anywho, uh, since uh, Lautrec hasn't done his thing yet, I'm gonna give the Firekeeper soul to the Firekeeper. And she makes my Estus plus one. It's an even bestest Estus. <laughs> <laughs> And I gotta come to something laugh from Nori, so I'll take it. Well, I'm glad to see you're safe. Somehow, I don't believe you, Lautrec. Have you heard of Trusty Patches? Trusty Patches. A man has rubbed me up the wrong way. <sighs> if he ever comes around again, I swear I'll have his hide. Foreshadowing. Um. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, the spiel that he has for us. Let's talk to the crestfallen warrior, see what he says that's new. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> Cheery bunch. <laughs> Don't you ever think to forge your weapons? I have you had my weapons forged. A Smith box oh, he was telling me to buy it. About with blunt instrument. Yes. <laughs> That's good advice. Thank you. What else? What's wrong? Get a bit of a scare out there. No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> uh, no, no, I mean, I mean, don't want to go hollow. Very much well, enjoy my Saturday. What are you going to do? I've already decided. I don't really care. I'm simply crestfallen. Crestfallen. Yes. <laughs> How did that silly sorcerer's apprentice end up? You know. The one always prattling on about Master Logan. He left Haven't met him yet. Berg, but never came back. Oh. Serves him right. We shall go he see if we can find him then. Make it out there. What chance does he have? I hope he enjoys his new life as a hollow. A hollow. Hmm? I'm not up for Okay, he's done uh, talking to us and uh, oh. I never really noticed. There is an item there. Okay. You can see that glow up in the distance. Let's go get that item. Just so I can give you all an idea, those of you that haven't played the game, of course, um, of just how jank the um, navigation around the world of Lordran can be. And we have the dude that throws the firebombs. Can't forget about him. And you. God damn it, he still hit me. <laughs> mm. 
Oop. These guys um, have very predictable attack patterns. Okay, so the item we saw... Get the firebomb before he drops. And you can see that there's like um, a blood stain there, so clearly you can go there. So let's go there. And there are two ways you can go there. The first one involves jumping, but jumping in this game is horrible. Horrible is the word, yes. So I'd rather, much rather, fall. And falling can sometimes be bad because, again, the physics are completely jank. <laughs> so let's hug the pillar and hug this second pillar because that's how the person died on the other one. It's a ring of sacrifice. Convenient. Because a lot of people die when they come here because they don't realize or they fail to jump across that particular gap there. And that's the other way you can get here. But jumping in this game involves holding down a circle to run and then quickly tapping it to jump. Yes, you need to let go and quickly tap it again to jump. Jank. So let's see if we die trying it. Okay. I tapped it an extra time just to be sure, but I didn't need it. I actually got it, so <laughs> yeah. No, uh, jumping in the first Dark Souls was always nerve-wracking. Okay, um, so now we have this crap that almost poisoned me again. And we get to hear the clanking of our armor, along with the water. <laughs> going under our feet, bouncing off of the walls in the tunnel. It's great. Right. We're back here. <laughs> I did say we we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it, but as it turns out, the gargoyles were easy when you have um, a plus two straight sword of Astora because they're not particularly resistant to magic. So, since we're here again, I will actually stop at the uh, merchant down there. Woo! <laughs> That's two of this guy's bolts that I've dodged. Well, I say that just as I get hit by one. But then again, you saw where he was aiming and where that bolt came shooting out of, so... A complete BS is what it is. I don't have time to dance with you. I need to get to the merchant and buy some stuff. Hello there, Mr. Merchant. Oh, there you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then go ahead, don't be a nitwit. Never <coughs> hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> a lot of people kill him just so they can get the key and be done with it without having to pay him any money I like him I genuinely do <laughs> alright the repair box let's buy the repair box and see what else he's got here doesn't have anything terribly fancy I do want to buy some heavy bolts because big boy bolts, and if we want to have a chance at um, getting the dragon's tail, because we're going to try and do that, that's gonna go well. <laughs> Hello, Q9C9P. Uh, let's see. So if we're gonna go for the dragon's tail, let's buy some heavy bolts. Some big boy bolts. That's only 44. That's fine. I have a hundred of the regular ones. Should be enough to uh, clip the tail. And if it isn't, well, <laughs> by the time the next stream uh, starts, I will have... Um, go and fall off a cliff. Don't be like that. I just bought stuff from you. <laughs> Ungrateful sod. Anywho, uh, right. Let's go and uh, poke a dragon in its ass. 
It's a hell of a lot less sexy than it sounds. Right. We'll have a bit of a sit down here. We can access the bottomless box, and we now have a repair box as well. Mm -hmm. So we climbed a thing. Wait, I don't have the, the binoculars. But I can aim with the crossbow in this game, c can't I? Disasters are gone after the defeat of the Grave Lord Servant. I guess there was a Grave Lord, once again, attempting to gank new people. I don't get it. It's like you have so many um, people who actually have been playing this game for so long, and why are you trying to gank new players? <laughs> gank. <laughs> Right. <laughs> the drake uh, makes itself heard, and so we shall make ourselves... Um... <laughs> well, we, let's just say we shall give him a piece of our mind. No, we can't aim. God. I think I may need to go back to Firelink Shrine and uh, go get the binoculars, because this is going to be tough. Where did that hit exactly? Okay, there, but higher. Just like that. <laughs> Oh, he came up to the tower. <laughs> well, uh, he came down to the bridge. Now he comes down to the bridge. I missed. And then I shot again. But I missed. <laughs> oh, just damn nearly missed it too. <laughs> that missed entirely. Oh, come on, really? Oh, yes! <laughs> so we just have to stand very still and keep shooting from here. <laughs> Do not move! <laughs> Let him go up on the bridge and do his thing. And when he goes back, we have to wait for the swing of his tail, but really? And there you go. All right. Come on. Go back. And it swings and volley boop. <laughs> yeah. Too early. Boop. Too late. <laughs> and, yep. Can't move the camera from here. Well, I can move the camera side to side, not up or down. And I can't move from here. The trick is always to find a good sniping position. <laughs> I don't know how much HP uh, his tail has or how much damage I'm doing. Oh, God damn it. Too late. Du -du 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 Yes. I could try and hit the um, the tail and the wings from here, but I'd rather play it safe. It's kind of boring, but it's uh, if I can get that particular sword that his tail drops, it would be very very helpful. And the tail and the main body have two different HP bars, so there's that. Like that. 
it's just annoying because he keeps coming down here. If he stay, I could keep shooting. <laughs> Too early. Too late. And boop. Right there. <laughs> Pin the tail to the wall. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> These are wooden bolts that I'm shooting at its tail. <laughs> I'm surprising he's even. Uh, I'm surprised he's even registering the damage. So. <laughs> See if I was any good at this game, I could just boop his tail, run up to the bridge, and um, just kill him. But no, 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 not that good yet. There was a time, or I. Dark Souls was uh, my proverbial bitch. And I could just do everything. And figure out, uh, well, I had all the um, important enemies and their moves uh, memorized. So I could just do all of that, but yeah, no, that was a long time ago. Played it on Linux, uh, the first actual Dark Souls that isn't a remaster like this one. But yeah, it's um... It's been a few years. Let's see. 2015? 2014? I think that's when I played um, using Durante's two in a row. Durante's mod to actually be able to have proper 1080p and uh, get as close to 60 FPS as I possibly could. Though my FX 8370 at the time wasn't, uh, it wasn't very good. I could barely play the game as it was. That tail. No, doesn't look like it. I mean, that's a good sign, right? It means that Linux is one of the big boys now. <laughs> it doesn't need a tag to identify. It's like, ooh, no. Uh, Linux players are just uh, game players. Which is fine by me. Please stop missing. You only bought 44 too late. <laughs> you only bought 44 of the things, so... Please stop missing. <laughs> this is taking a while, isn't it? But I already moved the camera, so let's try a little something else. He takes care of all the hollows for me. So let's uh, take a pot shot at him. Just like that. <laughs> now, if you let me put my um, sword back on. Uh, Gotta have the thing equipped and switch between the two. Okay. Let's put the crossbow and I uh, might have to lose something. Well, it's not a fat roll, so I'll take it. Oh, hello. Damn you and your fire.
Really? I was halfway down the stairs. Nope. Can't hide from the fire there. <laughs> ah. Okay. But, he's aware of us now, and I know how to call him down. So, I'm just gonna rush past him. That's fine. <laughs> I'll get the sword off camera, it's fine, it's just... It's easy, it's what I was doing, but it's it's a bit boring. Alright, so he's aware of me. You're gonna let me pull out the crossbow and take a pot shot at you. Okay, um... Yes, he is. How about that? That's fine. Get up. Ho 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 ho. I'm over here now. <laughs> and he runs away because he doesn't like me taking swipes at his, uh, at his tail from down here. Which is the best place to take Swipe's Head's Tail. But we can summon him back. We just need to get to the other um, end of the bridge. But the reason that I came here at all was so that... Well, I can kill those guys, but their 24 souls are not why I'm here. This statue is this is one of the statues of the, uh, the firstborn of Gwyn. You know, Lord Gwyn. We saw him in the uh, intro cutscene. And his firstborn... Well, he was stricken from the annals of history. Or so the lore says. Why? Well, in Dark Souls 3, we learn why. He joined the dragons. So Gwyn and everyone else was fighting against the dragons to put an end to their age. The age of um, Grey and... Not much of anything else. But yeah, Gwyn put an end to it. And his firstborn son decides, you know what? <laughs> screw my dad and screw whatever it is that he's doing. I'm gonna go align with the dragons. So Gwyn wasn't terribly happy with it and he said, no, you don't exist as far as I'm concerned anymore. And he had all of his statues, you know, firstborn son of a king, kind of a big deal. And all of his statues were broken. But just because the statue was broken doesn't mean that the, um, the king was forgotten, so to speak. I wonder if the dragon's gonna come back around. Oh, hello, Solaire. You're still there. Well, thank you for helping me against the gargoyles. <laughs> you grossly incandescent best boy that you oh, are. Hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Yep, I live for those words. Them words right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're on this side of the bridge. And uh, originally we came from uh, up there where we fought the tourist demon. Boss that I had significantly more trouble with than the gargoyles, which were supposed to be. Oh, people are fighting on the bridge. It's a PvP heavy area. Go figure. This whole game is a PvP heavy area. Um. See, now we use the basement key to go all the way down to the lower undead burg. And the lower undead burg is a lot like the other undead burg, but it's a bit harder. There's uh, some tougher enemies, and there's uh, an annoying, annoying, annoying boss fight with an enemy that. Uh, 
I suppose technically qualifies as a boss because he has a boss health bar. And uh, those of you paying attention, yeah, we're right back here. <laughs> We've opened up a bit of a shortcut between, well, that place there and this place here where I get fire bombs thrown at me. Let's run away. But yes, we have that bonfire over there, which is right underneath where the uh, dragon was. So, yes. Level design in this game, absolutely spot on. Oh, and be careful not to fall from here. I did. Many times. <laughs> and you die. <laughs> Comfort ahead. Here. Yes. Be wary of lying in ambush. What's he talking about? I don't see anything. Oh, hello. I see an undead pupper. Another undead pupper. No pupper, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you make me do this, pupper? <laughs> you too, stop! Undead puppers. <laughs> oh. He threw himself into the fire. Or itself. Whatever the case may be. Um, and a third pupper. No, pupper, stop! <laughs> Why do you do this? Why must you make me do this? And uh, down there is uh, that uh, annoying little boss, what I was talking about. And there's one of these doors. Be wary of prisoner. There we go. Somebody, please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Okay. So we use a residence key, and you can't actually open this door with a master key. You do need the residence key. And, um, there's a person here. And a corpse. In a barrel. Let's see what the corpse has for us. Oh. The corpse has some sorcerer stuff. Not too dissimilar from the ones that he's wearing. Mmm. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. Oh look, another ventriloquist. I thought I might never escape. I am <laughs> Ain't no leaf lip movement with these guys. <laughs> I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Your travels? I hear footsteps. Hold on. Hold that thought. There's no one here. Okay. Oh hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Which is... Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have my... Besides... He doesn't say. Hudik! Alright. So, we got ourselves the uh, sorcerer set, which... Is not great in terms of regular uh, physical protection, but it's great in terms of magical protection. As you can see, like, the knight gauntlets, um... Uh, actually, <laughs> even the physical protection isn't terrible for the sorcerer gauntlets. Huh. Put them on. Put them on right now. There we go. And we're fat rolling. God! <laughs> I hate being low level. <laughs> the gargoyle helm already weighs less than our helm. Well, the sorcerer boots weigh a lot less than our boots. The boulder boots weigh the same as ours. Yeah, sorcerer boots. There we go. We don't fat roll anymore. Cool. Oh, hello. Wow, there's a lot of you. All right, come on. I said, come on. <laughs> oh god, they're, they're all coming. <laughs> and these guys use their torches as weapons, and they, as a result, deal a considerable amount of damage when compared to their untorched brethren. Right, uh, heal. Let's save our Estus. I don't want to keep doing that. I just need to do this. Hello. You see me, don't you? 
Illusory wall ahead. I don't know why I still believe them. <laughs> right. You lot. Come here! <laughs> oh, god damn it. No panic rolling. Panic rolling is bad, yeah? <laughs> Cool. So, we killed the holos with the torches. What were they protecting? Twin huge manatees. Which, I guess, is a fair reward. If you use um, a solid humanity, you get a soft humanity on that uh, counter on the top left of the screen there, which I have six right now. And... Oh, this is that point. Try plunging attack. Okay, to do the plunging attack, you do this! Yes. <laughs> that wasn't really a plunge, but it worked. <laughs> I killed one of them, and now you! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> And the doors fling open, and the two behind me. Nothing happens, and this asshole was waiting. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna loot whatever you guys are um, keeping inside these places. Ooh, the hollow thief's hood, and the mail breaker. Yes, one day I should totally do a run with the mail breaker to see just how useful that uh, sword actually is, or I could just go on YouTube and look up someone who did. That sneaky suspicion's not great. That weapon's not great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't even get a chance to do a plunging attack this time around. <laughs> that I needed to, but whatever. Mm. Oh, hello there, Mr. Corpse. <laughs> what do you have for us? A large soul of a lost and dead. Here, yes. There was, in fact, a thing there. Oh, hello. Damn it, puppers. Why must you do this to me? Ooh. The black leather set. How about that? And that might even be better than the um, sorcerer boots. Six, a bit, a bit, a bit heavier, but still considerably lighter than the night leggings. And we don't fat roll, so I'll take it. Try jumping off. Need hollow. Yes. Behind th this door is that boss fight that I mentioned just uh, a few minutes ago. It's the Capra Demon. And we're gonna do that next time. We already defeated the Gargoyles this time around, so I'm gonna save that for the next stream. Here, we will be wary of left. Because there's an asshole right there. You see that one? calling you out is like, yeah, come get me. And then that one backstabs you. Because he's an asshole. <laughs> Isn't that right, asshole? Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's them two taken care of. And once you kill the Capra Demon, you get the key for this place. It's locked. Yes. Can we read the message? Good luck, yes. We shall have some luck. And if you reach through uh, the bars here, you can get a large soul of the lost and dead. And, since everything in this game is interconnected, let's open another shortcut. Just because getting to the Capra Demon can be a bit annoying sometimes. So, if we come here, we kill this hollow. Was that the only one? I guess so. 
All right, and then we go over here. And we had a talk. <gasps> Hello. Aren't you pretty? <laughs> you still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moths? I need your souls. <laughs> that was a strange laughter. V <laughs> Why, why does it sound like he's trying to sell you weed? Uh, he is very much selling, or she is in this case, selling us moss. Clumps of moss. Weed. <laughs> and huge manatees. She has seven huge manatees to sell for us. That's five too many. <laughs> All right, and uh, yes, she sells things. One of those things are fire um, arrows and poison arrows. Poison arrows are very useful. I may yet need to come back and uh, have a chat with this particular hollow. But this is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. I mean, who am I to deny someone's happiness? <laughs> she does look happy. Yes. <laughs> look at her. So happy. <laughs> George, what a humdrum lad you are. Wow, these people get really touchy if I don't buy enough stuff from them. <laughs> Anywho, I just want to open uh, that door up ahead. That door, as you may have guessed from this very echoey chamber, what we're traversing, leads back to the Firelink Shrine and the Undead Burg. So now we could go directly from uh, Firelink Shrine to here. And we have eight Estus, so I think I'm gonna go uh, make my way back to the Capra Demon Fog Gate. And while I do so, I shall bid you all a farewell. Uh, I shall see you all tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Don't forget to tune in a little bit earlier than the stream started today, uh, around um, eight. Yeah, uh, eight GMT. UK time, whatever you want to call it. There will be some Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. And on Thursday, Jordan's back from scale now, so uh, he should be doing a bit of a stream. Remains to be seen what it is that he will do. And, uh, of course, on Friday, there's Venstream, stream, the Friday Night Fubar. Tune in to see him play something. And, of course, Saturday is the big show, Linux Game Cast Weekly. Yes, the namesake of this very channel. And, well, it's it's the start of your Linuxy, Linuxy week. So, tune in tomorrow, and I shall see you then. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see, can we wave? Wave. Bye. <laughs>